Welcome to our daily devotional series, Introducing God. We have been looking at the story of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, and learning about God as God introduces himself to them and through them to us, and as they learn about God and how God expects them to be about faith. As we continue the story of Jacob, we've learned of Jacob's sons, and now we're going to focus on one specific son, that son we know of as Joseph. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 37, beginning at verse 1. Genesis 37, beginning at verse 1. Now Jacob land lived in the land where his father had sojourned in the land of Canaan. Now these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, when 17 years of age, was pasturing the flock with his brothers while he was still a youth, along with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought back an evil report about them to their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his sons because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a very colored tunic, a coat of many colors. And his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, so they hated him and could not speak to him in peace. Now, I realize that as we understand the rest of the story, that God is going to work all these events out for his purposes. But there is something going on here that I think we need to notice. One, we have a father showing favoritism. Again, knowing how this works out for this family, we understand that God can work it out. But we don't need to be people who show favoritism in our families, in our churches, and in our dealings with people. Yes, we can have our friends who are closer, but there's a difference in having closer friends and showing favoritism and being clickish, clickish and exclusive we need to be open and inviting, welcoming. Also, we need to be careful that we're not the one who is causing others to distrust us and hate us. Joseph did not help the situation by telling bad things about his brothers. Instead of encouraging them, we don't get the picture that he's trying to help them. He's just telling on them. Sometimes we wonder, why does everybody dislike me? Why does everybody hate me? Maybe we need to look at ourselves and ask ourselves, am I contributing to that? Just some things to think about as we look at this story today. Thank you for joining me. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, when we read these stories, we realize that these are real people. And they make real choices and make real mistakes. And there are real consequences. Father, help us as we read these stories to learn from them, to learn how we can be better, better people, better children of yours. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's word. I look forward to these and I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is as always that God will bless your day.